Hey guys, I'm Ted here to give you another fast fact. And for this uh, fast fact, we're going to look at industrial warfare. Uh, and this industrial warfare is in reference to World War I. Um, and, uh, and just to begin, let me just say that World War I uh, was the most destructive war in history up until that point. Uh, millions of lives were lost and nations were completely wrecked as industrial warfare devastated the, uh, the European landscape. Now, the majority of the fighting was done in trenches as the men had to conceal and protect themselves from the new frightening capabilities of the machine gun that made defensive positions so much easier to hold from attackers. Um, for much of the war, defenders had the clear advantage over attackers. The military innovations that had made the scramble for Africa and the Far East um, so incredibly easy now made it uh, now made warfare increasingly um, and, and really frustratingly difficult for the industrialized powers of Western and Central Europe. Um, the uh, the infantry unit, for example, found that it was very difficult. Uh, really impossible to advance against a small band of men armed with machine guns. Um, these uh, small defenders armed with machine guns had the capability of simply annihilating infantry divisions, even if they were stacked one on top of the other, due to the rapid fire and just uh, lethal um, capabilities of the machine gun. Um, one such, uh, one, one form of warfare, one ancient form of warfare, the horseback cavalry, which really dates back to the first years of the, uh, the domestication of the horse, um, uh, and really was a standing component of all armies around the world where the horse was uh, domesticated, simply uh, became obsolete during World War I. Um, you could not advance uh, with a horseback cavalry um, with a horseback charge against uh, infant, against, uh, against men with machine guns. It simply did not work out. It did not pan out. It, it did not bode well for horseback cavalry. So one of the more uh, ancient forms of warfare was made obsolete during the First World War. Um, and, and, uh, and also a brutality previously unknown to warfare surfaced um, due, uh, due to this industrial warfare, due to the industrialization of warfare, I should say. Uh, for the first time, poison gas attacks were practiced um, by both sides. Previously, gas attacks had been used against um, uh, poorly armed and poorly, uh, not poorly led, but yet poorly armed and poorly assembled native uh, groups that uh, defended their lands uh, from European imperialist invaders. Um, during, during the uh, scrambles for the uh, East and Africa, um, gas attacks along with machine guns had made things really, uh, really easy. But now uh, the European powers uh, found themselves fighting against uh, opponents who had access to one um, machine guns, but also the poison gas. And gas attack became a regular occurrence. Both sides, um, in an effort to dampen uh, the morale of, uh, of their opponents, um, they began to uh, embark on this very perverted propaganda campaign. Um, and those are some of the more brutal aspects of industrial warfare. We'll break here and we'll come back with uh, another fat fact for you.